A letter to a Monona business owner has now gone viral with thousands of shares and comments on Facebook. The owner of Exhaust Pros, Jim Melcheski, received a letter from an anonymous group of Monona residents asking him to get rid of the homeless man staying behind his building. Our Jamie Perez shares what that letter said and how the business is responding. Jamie? Well, the owner was actually too overwhelmed to speak with us on camera, but we did get a chance to speak with his daughter, who works very closely with the homeless community, and she wanted to take this opportunity to educate the people who wrote this letter. Very disappointed to see that you've allowed residents in the Madison homeless community to take up residence in the area around your business. There are many organizations in Madison that support the homeless and should be contacted to assist the individual to find an alternative location. Until this situation changes, we will be unable to visit, support your business. We feel unsafe in the area of your business. Sincerely, multiple residents on Monona Drive. This is part of the letter that Chris Ann Hopwood's dad received about the homeless man who stays behind his building. They are still humans, and this letter to me tried to take that dignity away from them. The letter has no name attached and no return address. It simply says this man doesn't belong here. I wish that you would have had the courage to come forward and to talk to my dad, to talk to the other business owners to express your concern instead of it coming to this. Friends of the State Street family saw the letter and posted a message on its Facebook page saying that COVID-19 displaced many homeless people when everything shut down. People like the homeless man referenced in this letter are trying to find somewhere else where they can access resources. The vice president wrote, we are disappointed reading this letter, not so much due to the lack of compassion, which is terrible, but more so because of the assumptions and lack of understanding this person has regarding our friends. And in a time where we see some pretty awful things happening around us due to assumptions and lack of understanding, we feel this letter is reckless and harmful. I wanted to speak to the man myself. I learned his name, Robert Limbach, and he ended up here after a series of bad luck. Right now, this is the most logical place for me to be safest. According to Margot Atkinson, who co-owns the neighboring business Momentum Art Tech, Bob doesn't bother anyone. He doesn't drink or do drugs. He's just looking for a safe spot which he's found here. You know, Bob is one of our friends. Um, unfortunately, he is homeless. He has run into a situation where he is now on the streets. He has not always been on the streets. Um, Bob stays here and he looks after everything for us. He makes sure that nobody messes with our murals. For the record, Bob does know about the letter. Just concerned that you were out here, but um, oh. that's why we wanted to... I'm concerned that I'm out here. I really am. He said to whoever was behind the letter and feels scared. Re-education. Yes. In Monona, I'm Jamie Perez. They're not scary. They're human. News 3 now. And Hopwood said she hopes whoever wrote this letter will come forward, not to shame them, but to help educate and help them understand what life is like in Bob's shoes.